Uh, so guys in this video we are going to talk about the uh, basic assembly instructions and also basic debugging in the visual studio so if you have already watched uh, uh, my nasam videos uh, you will probably understand the basic instructions but however i will cover those again and the first common instruction is uh, move instruction so actually uh, let's say move ex comma uh, 3 so what this means is uh, this move instruction actually copies it does not move so take a value 3 and press it in ex register and EAX register so these registers are stored in the CPU for faster calculations and these are uh, these have some number of there are some number of registers EAX, EBX, ECX, EDX and ESI, EDI and ESP, EBP so we will talk about these uh, registers later on so in this video I am just talking about the uh, some basic instructions and this EBX register this is uh, like a base register you can also use any register for any uses so I am taking the two value and copying into EBX register so up to this point uh, EAX register contains a uh, value 3 and EBX cont register contains value 2 now what I am going to do is I want to add these two values now I can say add EAX comma EBX so what this does is it's, it takes the value of EAX and EBX and add the both and store it in EAX register. So this uh, left hand operand uh, uh, is the destination and this is like a source. And even in this case the 3 value goes into this EAX register. So the left side is the destination and right side is the source. So up to this point EAX contains the value 5. Now what I can do is sub ex comma 1 now i am going to subtract ex 1 from the ex so this uh, is similar to ex is equals to ex minus 1 in the similar way this is, is e equals to ex is equals to ex plus ebx so if there are any there is any old value of ex it will be replaced by this value and this semicolon is called comment and it will be ignored so you can just put some uh, notes about what this instruction is doing so you can also do the multiplication now up to now up to this point ex register contains uh, value 4 you can see uh, we are adding 3 plus to 4 3 plus to 5 and subtracting 1 gets the value 4 now i can say uh, mul 5 so this value will be automatically multiplied multiplied by uh, ex register ex into 5 so up to now we will have the value 20 so up, uh, let's go ahead and uh, run this and before that I, uh, I want to show you one setting that is uh, right click on this uh, properties sorry not this and project properties sorry uh, yes tools options so in this uh, search for show disassembly so you can see uh, this will be uh, untick by default you need to tick this so click on ok and then uh, set the breakpoint here so the breakpoint means uh, we want to stop at this line whenever this line is about to execute our program starts and from there onwards we can execute instruction by instruction and see the value of these registers and well so let's go ahead and run this uh, local windows debugger now the problem is uh, we cannot run like this we need to go to debug and click on this step over or you can press the f10 key so there are some errors so let me see what are those errors
ओके इमीडियट ऑपर नाट रोड ओके ना इबिएक्स कंटेंट्स टू मल इबिएक्स लेट मी बिल्ड द सोल्यूशन so our solution has been succeeded so sorry for that and now click on step over now you can see this is the uh, disassembly window you can see all of the interrupts and here you can see the start label so this is the address uh, each instruction contains the address in, in the memory uh, at that address a particular instruction exists and at this address this instruction exists okay here in the right top right corner you can see the diagnostics the how much process memory and cpu percentage it's taking your program is taking so here this is the address and instruction now we can uh, see the autos here autos in sense whenever it's going to execute an instruction it will automatically identify the registers or the values in there or the variables and it will display the but we want to see all the registers to do that you click on debug windows and click on this registers you can see here all of my registers now up to this point ex register contains this value now we are copying three value into ex register now click on this step over now you can you guys can see ex register contains three and also eip register which is instruction pointer this register points to the next instruction to be executed which is this one you can see the red color means uh, these registers have been changed recently uh, whenever we stepped over so eip points to this address that is uh, this instruction is going to be executed next okay i am going to click on the step over now ebx contains two now eap points to this address and now what we are going to do is we are going to add the eax and ebx and store the value in the e eax so 3 plus 2 5 and the 5 will be stored in the eax click on the step over and you can see, you can see uh, eax contains 5 uh, and you also can see extended flag registers so we will talk about this uh, later so subtraction so we are subtracting 1 from the eax now eax contains 4 and multiplication we are multiplying uh, eax comma ebx so we did not specify the eax here but uh, the default will be uh, multiplied with the eax register so 4 into 2 it's 8 so let's uh, step over you can see the 8 value here now the push value uh, pushes the value onto the stack so we we'll, i will do a separate video on the stack and push and pop operations so you can close this so let me stop this one now i want to show you another instruction that is lea instruction load effective address so we can copy the address of any variable uh, into register using this lea instruction we can say lea uh, ex comma and you need to specify this uh, brackets to specify the address and here we have the hello world variable which points which holds the value of hello world string now let me uh, say hello world okay we are just copying the uh, address of this uh, variable into the ex now let's build the solution and let me put the breakpoint here and let me step over this now step over so okay now uh, ex uh, have the value 8 and from now on we are copying the value address of hello world into the ex so debug click on windows click on memory and create a, a new memory window so this is our memory window so this is the memory dump you can uh, by default it will be auto and what you can do is uh, we can set for 4 bytes uh, view 4 bytes uh, per row so this will be very useful when you are viewing the stack so uh, i am just clicking on the auto okay now let me step over this and uh, you can also say hello world here or you can say ampersand hello world 
ampersand uh, impress the address of this one so you can you can see the address is this one 35000 uh, 35, and it contains the hello world so let me remove this so okay now after stepping over that value will be placed into eax register you guys can see uh, the value is this one now i can say eax and eax if i hit enter then the top value will be uh, shown in the eax so you can see the address is this one and eax contains the address so it points to this hello world string so that is one important instruction that is load effect to address so that's all for this uh, basic instructions and basic debugging i hope you have understood this video